In this video, we're going to learn how to remove the trailing newline character that occurs in a string when using fgets to accept user input in C. fgets is often used instead of scanf to accept user input because by default, scanf will not accept and store a string containing spaces. So for example, if we make a character array called string that can store up to 256 characters and we prompt the user to enter a string with printf. We could use scanf to store the string that's entered into this string character array. And then we could print it out afterwards. So we'll say string and then percent %s, and then we'll put the string here. And if we save this and run it, we can enter a string like abc, okay. And we'll get string abc, and it works. But if we try to run this and enter in abc, space one, two, three. Now we only get back ABC. So by default, scanf does not handle space as well. So this is why oftentimes F gets is used to accept user input instead. So for example, we could say F gets string 256 and then STDIN. So here we're using F gets to accept user input. This STDIN, that could be something like a file pointer instead to read data from a file. But when we put stdin here, we're using fgets to read data from standard input, which is going to be the terminal by default. We can store up to 256 characters into the string character array. We'll save this and run it. And now we can enter in abc space one, two, three, and it works okay. The one thing though, is notice there's this line here in between the end of our program and this program ended with exit code zero. That's actually a new line character. The new line character is at the very end of our string here. Let's actually output our string one character at a time so we can really understand what's going on inside the string. We'll include the string.h library because the string.h library includes a string length function called strlen that allows us to find the length of a string. And what we'll do is create a loop that's going to loop through each character in our string and print it out individually. First, we'll get the length of the string. We'll say int length is equal to strlen string. This will give us the number of characters in the string, not including the special null terminator character that ends a string. Let's actually print out the length. Here we'll say printf length percent d backslash n for a new line, and then length. Then let's use this length to loop through the string one character at a time, printing out each character. We'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than or equal to length, and i plus plus. What we're gonna do is print out a couple characters in a special way. So the new line character, if we print that out by default, what we'll get is an actual new line in our terminal. The null terminator, if we try to print that out, we'll get nothing. We'll actually treat those characters differently. We'll have an if statement that detects those characters specifically and prints them out in a prettier way that's more human readable. So we'll say if the character at index i is equal to the new line character, we're gonna print that one out differently. We'll say printf string percent d is equal to backslash, backslash, n, and then a new line. And we'll have i here as well. So what we're doing here is printing out the index of the string that the loop is currently looking at. Then we're outputting a single backslash character here. So the backslash character is a special escape character that normally is used to do things like output a new line, like right here. But here we have two backslashes and that will actually output a backslash character here. Then we'll output an n. So that way we can actually represent a new line character in the program output with backslash n. We'll do the exact same thing with the special null terminator character that ends the string. So we'll say if the string at index i is equal to the null terminator character, then we're gonna output printf string percent d is equal to this time backslash backslash zero and then a new line and we'll have i here as well and then finally we're going to output a regular character 
just as the character itself. So we'll say printf string percent %d is equal to percent %c backslash n, and we'll output the index again, and we'll also output the character at that index. Now we can actually output each character in the string, and we can represent a new line character and a null terminator in a human-friendly way. Let's save this and run it and see what we get. So let's enter in the string abc space 123. And we get a length of 8 here. And what's going on is that we have 1, 2, 3 characters, a fourth for the space, 5, 6, 7, and then the new line. And we can see it here. We have abc, the space, 1, 2, 3, and then we have the new line character, and then the null terminator that ends the string. So that's why we say there's a trailing new line character when we use fgets to accept user input. And oftentimes we don't want that trailing new line character to be there. So how can we get rid of it? There's a quick way. We're going to use the string length to help us with this. We're gonna set the string at the index string length of the string minus one equal to the null terminator. So we're going to get the length of the string, which in this case is going to be eight. The length does not include the null terminator. We're going to subtract one. That's going to give us the index of the character before the current null terminator, which is where that trailing new line is. And we're going to set that to the null terminator. Let's save and run this now and see what we get. So we'll put in ABC123. We have length of eight, but if we look at the string now, the null terminator is now here. We've shifted it up by one index. Now the old null terminator is still there, but that's not a problem. This will be recognized as the new end of the string. And we've replaced that backslash n, the new line, with the null terminator, ending the string one character earlier. So for example, if we print out the length after applying this technique here, it will be one less than before. So we'll print out an after length here using the same length variable, but calling string length again. So we'll set length equal to the length of the string using string length after applying this technique here. So we'll save it and run it. We'll put in ABC123. And notice that the after length is now seven. That's because we shifted the null terminator up one character. That's why that occurs. So if we want to remove the trailing new line character that occurs in our string when using fgets to accept string input from the user, all we really need is this line right here. And what we're doing is finding the last character in our string, which is going to be that trailing new line character, and we're setting it equal to the null terminator character, which is going to end our string one character earlier, removing that trailing new line character. It's ultimately only one line of code, but hopefully this video has helped you to understand why it works. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.